Hey, what is going on guys? It's Crimson Pharaoh, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at Cigarette and Wyvern 13. I was uh, lucky enough to pull her. <laughs> lucky enough to pull her. I was, uh, uh, after 119 summons um, on her, her banner, I got her. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, but I'm going to do uh, 15 Moonlights here first, uh, and then we'll look, take a look at the run. Um, I don't know how I saved 100 of them before. I just want to use them basically the moment I get them. Spend one. Okay, awesome. I mean, hopefully it's a nat 5. You know, you love to see it, but who knows? As long as it's not Guide or Aether. Oh, nice. Nice. That's actually really good. Because um, he's got the evasion thing going on. On the skill, increases evasion chance of all allies by 15%. Um, so I can pair him with Milam, and, uh, that'll actually be pretty nice. So that's, that's actually one of the best pulls I could have gotten for a four-star there. Um, alright, so let's hop out of here and get on to the Wyvern part. Um, nothing's, nothing crazy about this team. Um, pretty basic, I mean... Um, if you don't have Clarissa, you can use Alexa, and that's pretty much the standard team, I figure, is Alexa right there, and then you've got Angelica, Cigarette Furious, um, but I, uh, yeah, since I didn't get Cigarette first, and I managed to pull Clarissa along the way, I just, it's just the team. Um, I actually really like Clarissa in this team, like, significantly better than Alexa. Um, Alexa does do a lot of damage, but I like the extra unit doing defense breaks and it's on both of her skills both of clarissa's skills here so um she uses her skill three she misses okay she uses her skill one and misses okay furious will probably pick it up or you figure furious misses with his skill three because there's a 15 percent chance she'll pick it up on her skill three or skill one whatever the next skill is that she uses she'll probably pick it up and, and put it on for you um so they're pretty nice together um Angelica is pretty self-explanatory. She just needs to survive. Um, then Cigarette is lovely. Um, just makes the runs basically 100%. I really wish I would have just started the game with her. I would have saved $200 on the banner summons I had to do. And it, it would have made a lot more sense. I mean... I, there's, there's no good excuse to not pick Cigarette from your selective summons when you start the game. Unless you happen to do a, a ten pull on Covenants and get Cigarette when you start the game, or you start the game when there's a Seaside Bologna banner and you want to go with something else, I don't know what else you would want to go with other than Cigarette. Though, like I chose Charlotte. Um, I never used her before, but I'm really not a Bruiser player at all. I hate Bruiser units. Um, I just want to see stuff get smashed. I just love crazy AoE damage. So I love Vildred of Arbiter Vildred. Um, anything like that is great. But Cigarette's also great because she does pretty high single target damage. Especially in Wyvern. She's got all these debuffs she brings in and it just helps a bunch. Um, and then I, I did also pick up Song of Stars from the shop and I got the um, artifact for Cigarette. But I'll show the gear in a second here. Um... But yeah, the run is just so more consistent now. I made a video a couple, like three weeks ago, maybe four weeks ago, about uh, doing it without cigarette, and um, it's kind of a hard video to make because you have to be honest and say this is just there's just not a 100% team without cigarette or seaside Bologna. With cigarette, you can get her for free. You just have to reroll. It it shouldn't take very long, and then it's your your Wyvern 13 team is built. All you need is cigarette. Again, the Clarissa is great. I love having Clarissa on the team. But you can use Alexa. Alexa's free from connections, just like Angelica and Furious here. You can get them super fast. Um, and yeah, so I mean... I feel like I've said it like 50 times now since I started this account. Just get Cigarette. Um, nothing else makes sense. I mean, back in the day it was Vildred, but back in the day we didn't have Wyvern 13. Um, and now that we do, you, you, it's pretty much cut and dry what you're getting from there. And I figure eventually, when we get through episode 4 here, we're in episode 4 right now, um, I, we might get a selective summons after that, and then 
people are going to go back and they're going to be like, what should you take from season two? And I think it's highly, highly likely people are going to say you should be trying to go for Euphine. Or I think uh, Mew is in there. M-U-I? Mew? I think she's in there. She might be a lit... <sighs> is she limited? I think she's in there. I think she's in there. Basically, just stuff for one-shotting Banshee. I think it's going to turn into... Once we get another selective summons, it's going to be you should get this unit from the second one because the second season two selective summons because you can do it use it to one shot or you can if you aren't lucky enough to pick up this unit get this unit and if you're not lucky enough to get this one get this one for PVE because everything comes back to PVE people constantly are talking about um, that would have a nice if it was attack percentage I guess but uh, pretty much useless um, pe people always come back to PVE. People, every time a new unit comes out, oh, it's going to smash an arena. That's what everyone shows off. But really, I mean, like, you're you're in PvE 95% of the time that you're playing any gacha game. I mean, 5% might be generous. 5% is actually really generous to give to PvP content because you are always in PvE. The mon All the monsters you need on your account are for PvE, player versus environment, farming hunts, and just just yeah, smashing the wyvern, smashing the banshee, whatever you're whatever you're in, um, and then raid too. People are like, you know, do hell raid, do this, use this unit. Those are the most important things in the game, is this stuff because you can't do PvP at all without it. Um, so yeah, I th I think as the game progresses and goes on, people are recommending PvP units right now in the season two, but I think it'll revert back to get this unit for PVE. Um, and I will be going for Euphine, personally, for my Season 2 Selective Summons, um, because her design is totally waifu, and she destroys the Banshee Queen, just, I mean, off the face of the earth, um, as long as, as long as the move, the move order is right. She doesn't always use the right moves, um, uh, but when she does, it's, you know, it's a great one-shot team. Um, anyway, yeah, so here I am, I pick up, like... What I pick up Politis, 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 um, for PvP, not using her yet. Ran, I picked up for PvP and not using him yet. Same thing. Um, I mean, well, really, I just got lucky with the Bizarre. Ravi's basically PvP as well. She can be great in PvE also for, like, story. Um, and but she's really great for Arena. She's a bruiser. Um, Milim, I'm actually happy I picked this one up. Um, because, well, first of all, she's limited, and uh, I got crazy lucky with her summons. I got uh, these six here. Oh, there's five here. The other one is here. So this is all just... I, I got it in, like, 160 pulls, 170 pulls. So it, it was, it was uh, efficient and that stuff. But, um, like, beyond just, like, picking Cigarette for Wyvern, like... Think think about PVE because think like when someone when a YouTuber tells you to pick this unit or your friend tells you to pick this unit not not cigarette specifically any any unit think to yourself where are they in the game and what are they using this unit for and it's almost always going to be arena it's going to be them the next sentence that comes out of their mouth is going to be he or she will do this crazy thing in arena uh, and win you the game cigarette is the only unit I hear about right now that is PvE, but there's so many good ones. Literally, like, like, Arbiter is great for story and stuff, but he's really more of a PvP unit anyway. Like, all of the, all of the, um, Moonlight Connection heroes are. They're, they're more PvP-based. Um, but don't build her, by the way. This was a mistake. I did not realize that decreased speed didn't land on the Wyvern, so this was a huge waste of resources. I mean, really a huge waste of resources to do this. Um, but yeah, uh, just pick up stuff for PVE. If you're if you're in the first six months, even maybe the first year of the game, you should just be worried about PVE because after that, then you've done all your hunts. You've probably done it a couple thousand times at least. Hopefully more like 20,000 runs in Wyvern. That might sound insane to someone that's new to the game, but... Play for a couple more months, <laughs> and you'll find out that it's that's what you're doing. You're look you're staring at the wyvern all day, 
every day for weeks if you want to make your account better. Um, so yeah, anyway, that was my rant. Um, Clarissa, super simple build. Um, speed crit rate with these stats be better to be what, like 190, 195, but everything else is totally fine. Angelica, just the free set, super tanky. Doesn't need to do anything. I got kind of lucky in world effect resistance. I probably don't need that much, but uh, yeah, triple triple health there, so that's that's all good. Cigarette is this is part of the free set. You get these these attack ones here with uh, something I picked up. This is really nice. This extra crit damage here, and then just some speed boots. Um, more effectiveness would be awesome. Um, yeah, just more effectiveness would be great, but it's not even that big of a deal. She's got this exclusive equipment that I use the third one. Um, changes the conditions necessary to activate Sever when using Smash for, from 50% remaining health to 75% remaining health. So what that looks like is this. Um, I use this skill and then activate Sever with an extra attack as an extra attack with a 100% chance of inflicting bleed and that's when the wyvern is below 75% health which with cigarette on the team is going to be fast very fast um, get at least the cooldown here I need to get this for the effect chance but um, yeah just get the effect chance and stuff and the cooldown down and stuff but yep Alexa works fine too I'm, she's not in because I have Clarissa but just as many of the skill ups not this one though don't upgrade past two on this one uh, but the rest of them you can just fully upgrade if you want um, and she's fine on basically the same build Clarissa has here effectiveness speed damage daydream joker whatever and then furious I've got a uh, speed set that I picked up along the way this was an event boot that uh, very nice rolled it just rolled super nice for me so that's awesome um, and then I did the thing to get it up from 85 to 90 um, I got Song of Stars from for him from the shop. Um, it'll come around eventually. If if you don't have it in the sh in your shop when you're watching this video, it'll come around. It'll come back. Um, and then Cigarette does have the Cradle of Life that has a, a chance to get a random debuff. And all of these land Poison lands, Bleeding lands, decrease attack and decrease hit chance are not typically in Wyvern teams. So it's a great, it's an amazing artifact to have. If you don't have it, Daydream Joker works just fine too, though. Um, so yeah, that's the team. Um, super simple. Uh, pick up cigarette. And uh, yeah, you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching.